Hello all. Well, I'm sitting in a lorry park in Northampton. Look at this. It's kind of deserted lorry park in Northampton because unfortunately picked up a job. It's got a booking time. You think, oh, I might be able to get it off earlier. And he went, no chance. It's frustrating really because sometimes you look at these places and you think, you don't seem to be a lot going on. How long does it take to take 14 planets off? Well, I can understand it if they were chock-a-block full of um, Arctics and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so Shiddy says, and I think somebody else might have asked me this recently, what's the most reliable van you've ever owned? Over owned. So, now the, the most reliable van I ever owned was the Jigsaw van, but we'll come to that. So the way I look at it is this. And it is, bear in mind that everything on this channel is only really my, is my opinion and which I, is wrong, or at least largely erroneous. And then when I get it wrong, then we do the Sunday Q&A and everybody else gets it right and you can read their answers. Uh, but in my opinion, vans fit into three different categories. Category A, Sprinters and v, uh, sort of Mercs and VWs. Category B, Transits. Category C, every other van. So in my opinion, the best fans you can buy are Mercs and uh, VWs. Uh, we always used to drive, I used to drive LT35s back in the day when I was 18. Um, that was when you could buy a van for five grand. A brand new van for five grand. Oh, oh my. Can't buy, <laughs> you, you can't buy, you can barely buy an engine for that now. Um, yeah, so I find them to be the most reliable, the most comfortable, the best to drive. Then you got your transits. Transits are like workhorses. They're not. They're not super funky. You know, they they're not. They haven't got lots of room in with your legs, and they're not. They haven't got all the sort of fancy little twiddly bits. And they use two bolts when right where everybody else uses when Mercs and VW six for no apparent reason. But they're okay. They carry the weight. They'll, they'll do the job. They kind of, in my mind, and I don't know why, they're kind of like the DAF equivalent of a van. It's perfectly, it's a decent, it's a decent van. It does the job. It, parts are easy, easy to get hold of. Parts are cheap. They're plentiful. They're kind of, they, they, there might be snazzier vehicles out there, but they do the job. No frills, but they're not there and they do it, you know. Then there's everything else. Your Renaults and your Citroëns and your Vauxhalls. Disappointingly, it used to be Bedford back in the day. This come from a Luton boy. Vauxhalls is in Bedford. Bedford vans were made in Luton. Um, which just don't seem to do it for me. They don't seem to carry the payload. I mean, having said that, on the, on the firm, the Transport IT, the new firm I'm with now, we have got two vans. We've got a Sprinter and the Renault. And the Renault's a nicer drive. And the Renault's got a DAB radio. Uh, the only thing is I do tend to drive it empty. I wonder what it'd be like if it had a ton panic on board. I wonder how long it would last. But, I mean, they're cheaper as well. But then, you know, so once again, this is just my opinion. But in my mind, they just, I find them not so good. But that's not coming to the most reliable van I've ever owned. For the point of view of reliability, the most reliable van I was the Jigsaw van, which was a Sprinter. Now, the way I look at this is a vehicle is just a load of moving parts. And once those moving parts starts to wear out, then that's when you're going to have trouble. So the newer the moving parts, the better it is. So I bought this Sprinter back in the day and I, well, this was when you know, a decent van was going for about 10k and I got this box sprinter it was the first one when I had when I joined the exchange it was penny um, and this one was 5k but it had recently had a brand new engine so I thought okay and over the space of the next two years I must have spent another 5k on this van replacing the gearbox replacing uh, the ignition system which has got two bits to it both of those went um, a clutch pretty much everything that was left to go went but it meant over I got spread the cost over say 18 months and by the end of it I spent 10 grand which is what a lot of people were spending on a decent newish you know sort of second hand van anyway but mine had a new engine a new gearbox a new clutch a new ignition system I remember one of the mechanics popping up the hood and he turned around and he says Barry, he says, come and have a look at this. He says, look in here. This is like a jewellery box. <laughs> Everything was shiny and new. So the most reliable van you're likely to get is going to be the one with the newest moving parts. So with that in mind, even though I've said what I've said, 
I've always said if you're looking for a van, um, you might have something in mind, but then something pings up and you go, well, hang on a second, I did really want a box sprinter, but there's a box transit down the road, and it's done like 50,000 miles left than everything else in my price range, and it's just had a new this, and it's got a year's ticket on it, and it's got this, and it's got that, so try to keep an open mind and bear in mind that you can get a friday afternoon van which is even if you get one that's got done very low mileage my mate ken's just bought one that's a citron um and it's got low mileage got this that and the other and he says since i've had it i've got nothing but travel with it so to me it's given the choice of spending a little on a van and then having that money put aside to get you so that you can fix the bits and make sure they're done properly or spending a lot on the van and then assuming that because i spent a lot on the van it's going to be okay i don't think it's a guarantee but yeah so my mind the most reliable van i ever owned was the jigsaw van I, as a personal preference i like mercs because they're just nice in my opinion they're nice to drive and they've got a lot more leg room which is i get a lot of leg room in the transit done about so many others some of the citrons have been ridiculous it's like a fire like a cockpit in there like you know but um and obviously the one with the least wear and tear is going to be the, the most reliable van but unless you're a mechanic unless you can get under the hood and have a look yourself you ain't going to know about that one so so thoughts on this one as always a sunday q a if you'd be so kind and in the meantime I've still got oh, at least another hour before I can get myself in. They said they won't see you. They, get, they go for a meeting at two. He says you won't get in here before quarter past two. So I might try. No, I can't get out of this place, can I? So, anyhow, so that's it. Put the comments in. We'll have a big discussion. People that actually really know what they're talking about. And uh, in the meantime, if I get out of here, I hope we get another job, a chance to take care and take money.